So Matt26 from the UK wants to play. He recently beat my Core i7-950 results in W Prime, which I recently posted on my channel. He could uh, squeeze a tiny bit more on the frequency side of things from his own CPU. On the W Prime 1024M, I'm a lot more confident as he ran pretty much the same frequency, which I'm pretty sure I can run myself. The W Prime 32 will be definitely harder, so it's very hard to say that do I have any chance to beat his scores, but we'll see. But anyways, huge thanks to Matt26 for the awesome effort for really trying these tests with the Core i7-9950. Core but we'll see who's the better x58 overclocker. But of course, it all depends always who has the better hardware, the CPU in this case. But anyways, I will give it a go just for the sake of fun, I, I guess. So Rampage Free Black Edition, my very best Core i7 950 for W Prime, T-Rex Container, the pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly, uh, NVIDIA 6500GT GT just for the monitor, signal with capture card as always, and C Sonic Prime 1300W Platinum, Windows XP only. So let's see what happens. So <clears throat> should be pretty straightforward as we already know what to do with this uh, uh, CPU. Okay, that's the first top score with the Core i7-950 again. Sorry Matt26 from the UK, we beat you. So, uh, W Prime 1024M, 135.296 seconds at 5580 on the CPU. SPD stuff on the memory. Rampage free extreme this time, as I had some issues with my Black Edition. So previous top score by Matt26 was 135.5, so this is like 204 millisecond gain over him. Pretty nice. Sorry Matt26, you got beaten again. 4.187. I never believed you could run this high with the Kohai 7950, but we proved it now. Rampage Free Extreme, definitely much better than Rampage Free Black Edition, at least in my opinion. But it probably depends on the CPU. But damn awesome, once again. Well, we technically got that one as you don't necessarily need the motherboard tab open uh, for W primes. You only need CPU and memory, and we saw those with the capture card. It was, of course, kind of flaky, pretty annoying, because I really would like to get a full screenshot for all of you guys. Ah, 187 again. We did see 171, I think, that was the score.
Okay, this is now a full screenshot. I don't remember what's the previous run, 172 or 171 or 173, but at least we got this one now with full screenshot. Okay, tiny gain. I think like 30 milliseconds or so, 135.265, around 5.6. I think I was at like 135.298 or 96, something like this. So like 30, 33 millisecond gain over there. But we are closing the limit pretty much. Okay, this score is absolutely massive. 134.375. I'm sure the previous rank one score by Matt26 was 135.5. This is absolutely enormous. Over one second gain at 5.615. Yeah, this is huge. <laughs> I bet Matt26 is crying right now in labor governed UK but whatever so huge maybe there's more maybe there really is more <laughs> but yeah okay we managed to improve yet again but let's try to get the screenshot So 5726 megahertz on the CPU, 4.155. This is enormous. This is huge, guys. 50 millisecond gain over Mat 26 from the UK. Enormous. And okay, I actually tried to run Superby 32M as well with this CPU, now with these improvements, but I couldn't uh, get any better than where I'm currently at with my other uh, 950 CPU that has phenomenally good single core which did like 5.8 plus for validation etc. But anyways I probably should thank Matt26 from the UK for posting those a tiny bit better scores with the Core i7 950 in W Prime because now I learned quite a lot once again about Bloomfield overclocking on LN2 and uh, yeah I'm pretty sure Rampage Free Extreme is better than the Black Edition for many of these CPUs, but obviously I'm sure it varies on the CPU itself. Some CPUs you might hit the same clock speed on both of the motherboard models and some might do better on the Extreme, but I really doubt there are CPUs, at least many of them, that would do better on the Black Edition because Extreme actually has more options in the BIOS compared to the Black Edition. But yeah, so the W Primes, they went much better than what I expected. First at like uh, 4.219, I couldn't get any better. Then I got 4.187 quite a few times. Then we got like 4.172, 7173, something like that. We crashed one time. And then finally we got 4.155, which is enormous. For 950 if you ask me at 5.72 gigahertz that's a huge frequency for the 950 because remember before this on the black edition i was only doing like 5.64 max for w prime 32 and now we improved almost 100 megahertz who would have thought and yeah 1024 m i improved my own score a few times, the previous top score was 135.5 seconds by Matt26 from the UK. We got like, uh, first was like 135.7 something, which was worse than what I already had. Then 135.296, then like, was it like 260 something? And then the final score was huge, 134.3 something, that's like one point one seconds plus faster than Matt26 from the UK. So, sorry to say, Matt from the UK, you probably will not beat these scores anymore. So, uh, but yeah, thanks for giving me a huge challenge with this CPU model. So now I definitely should hold 
the top scores with the 950 and I want to move on to some of the other models like 960, 965 Extreme, 980X, 990X and so on. So these are pretty much the scores. So at the time of uh, watching this video the scores are already uploaded to hardwarebot.org so definitely check out the scores if you are interested in my runs and my efforts with these older platforms and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you really like to see my work on these older platforms and so on and maybe check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah i guess that's pretty much it so thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again and i will see you on the next one